Hello. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done a YouTube video and my son is doing it. And I feel kind of funny talking to a phone that costs more than most of my cars did. But anyway, getting to the point, I want to tell you how to make a plugger's television. Or either a television that does not require a computer. You can build it at the most for maybe $20. I've even seen on eBay where you can get the little converter <coughs> as low as 14 or something like that. But anyway, you have to be real careful. It consists of these pieces. Uh, here again, you do not need a computer, so keep that in mind. When the coupons came out a few years ago, when they converted to uh, digital TV from analog TV, you got these boxes, Kmart sold them, Sears sold them, everybody sold them, Walmart sold them, and you get them with free coupons or maybe a little price or something like that. But now you'll see these boxes in yard sales and all over the place. And, but what you need first is a TV converter box. And the one I've got here, this is my favorite. This is a Channel Master, and the model number is D2A, like Dog 2 Albert. Now this is the first thing that you'll need to make your homemade television. Now I'm not talking about making a homemade TV antenna. I'm talking about making a homemade television, just like you would look at when you go in, in Walmart or something. All right, so I'm going to use this as an example of this converter box to start with. This one's made by Channel Master. And what I like about this, you don't have to have this, but what I like about it is, first of all, you have to hook up an outside television antenna, which will go right here. And you could put up, if you live right in the city where the TV station's at, uh, you can probably put up a simple antenna and pick it up. But out here in the country, we live in uh, the southern part of Virginia very rural here and the nearest TV station like 60 some miles away which would be Richmond Virginia so anyway I have an outside antenna run down a regular piece of coax it's not on the cable it's not on a dish network direct TV none just a simple antenna sitting out in the yard now the wire from that comes right there and plugs into this TV converter box at antenna in the antenna in so you hook your TV antenna to right there now Here's the secret. The other thing you'll need to have <coughs> is a flat screen computer monitor. This particular one here I like because it's 19 inches. And this uh, happens to be a Western house. But this is not a computer. Here again, this is not a computer. It's just simply a flat screen TV. I, I mean not to. A flat screen monitor just like you see. Like you see yard sales. It's just a regular computer monitor is all it is. Uh, over here, I have another one, a Dell 17 inch here that I've also had on it. And there again, it's just a common flat screen uh, monitor. Any size, it doesn't make any difference what it is. But I just like this, and since this is plugged in, we're going to use this. So, what you need to do is have these two things to start with you need your TV converter box and that. You do not have to necessarily use a Western House monitor or a Dell or what, anything you've got that works will work. And here's another uh, computer box. For, I'm not computer. I keep on saying that, but it has nothing to do with computer. But here's another digital converter box also that you find at yard sales. This is made by a Digi Digistream. And it's basically the same thing. Just hook up an outside, outside antenna. And uh, you're ready to watch TV with it almost. And here's what you got to do to watch it like the pluggers do. We'll go back to the Channel Master here, for example. With your outside antenna hooked up, the first thing to do is to get a set of computer speakers, which they're powered speakers. You can turn the volume up and down, such as that. And these things have a uh, output jack on the right and left channel. So you plug it into the red goes to red and the white goes to white, which is uh, left and right audio. Now you can cut this on right now at the antenna hooked to it, and you'll hear the TV channels on there, like channel 8 in Richmond, 6 in Richmond, 12, whatever. Wherever you live at, you'll hear the audio immediately when you turn this on. But getting the picture to that monitor is going to be different. What you have to do, this only part you're going to have to spend some money on. Uh, my son got this for me off of Amazon. We talked about it a long time. And what we figured out in the gaming industry, these people that play games, uh, 
I don't guess checkers would count, would exactly. No, video games. What you have is you had these gaming consoles that play on little consoles on hands, but they make adapters that will allow that to be played on a flat screen monitor, different situations. But this particular box right here that we got from Amazon, eBay's got the also, is a box that will take the signal coming out of here, which is the video out signal, or even an S video out signal, depends on the way your converter box is made. This one here does not have the, uh, this does not have the S video out, but it has a video out. So your audio would go right here, just like it does there, and your video would go to the little yellow cord. And then from there, I'm down, I'm going to stone this box over here. Then from there, it will plug in this thing right here. And that's when this box. This box is packaged two ways, and here's the confusing part. Some of these things are made from VGA to video and S That's the wrong thing. That will absolutely not work, not work, not work. Let me repeat again. That will not work. The one you need is one of these gadgets just like this that will convert the uh, video coming out of your converter box. It'll plug right into the yellow jack on there. And this right here converts, this right here converts video and S video to VGA. That's what this does. If you've got a converter box like this one here, you plug the uh, S video cable in here, plug it right there. Or if you don't have that, like this one doesn't, you go to the yellow wire, plug the yellow wire right there into that yellow wire. You're almost done. Then plug your power cord on the side. All right, some of the high price boxes uh, have these outputs on them too, but you don't need that. But this is the only thing you're going to need, what's in my hand, to, to allow you to see one of these uh, converter boxes on a flat screen monitor. So now we're going to plug that into there, or either that into that, either one or the other. And then right here is the wire that plugs into the monitor. Now keep in mind here again, it does not plug into a computer, no laptop, no computer of any kind. So this is the only thing you're going to have to buy. And uh, this is called a converter that will convert S video or either regular video that will go into this and then it will go out to a flat screen monitor. To keep in mind again, I can't emphasize this enough, it does not go to a computer. It does not go to a computer. It goes directly from here to that monitor. All right, so I'm going to go back here and hook the wires up and show you what happens. So hold on just a minute. Let me change the wires. I'm going to ask my son to put this on pause just for a second. Okay, thank you for that little pause there. Although it took me about five minutes to do this, I tangled some wires. What I've done with the Channel Master Converter Box, like you find yard sales now, or any of them, it's multitudes of them out there. I hooked my outside antenna into the antenna end. That just simply goes to an outside TV antenna. Here again, no cable, no dish network, no direct TV or nothing. All right, here I took the audio that's coming out of this converter box and I plugged it in to my two yard sale Dell powered speakers. They have to be speakers that is powered, and by that I mean they have a little amplifier in them. So it's got to have that. So my audio is hooked up, and now I have plugged in the yellow connection right here which is the video out coming out the channel mask bar. I plug that in right to yellow to yellow, right there. I plug that in. Now, next I take my yellow wire right here and I plug it into the little box I showed you that we ordered off of Amazon, or eBay and everything else. All right, and what I've got, I've got the yellow, uh, blue connector right here that comes out of this box, it says VG, VG, VGA out, that goes directly and to my flat screen monitor. Here again, no computer, flat screen monitor only. And the yellow wire that we plugged in a channel master box is plugged into the video end right here, which also you'll see is a yellow connector. And that's it. And right here is the power cord that plugs into the little uh, power supply down there in the thing. And right here's your buttons that tells you how to set everything. Now, uh, I'm not gonna try to explain the buttons but you just kind of have to get a hang of how to use them. And the first one of these boxes I got was defective in that the, it did not come on and the power supply was bad. So I had another power supply that I used which solved the problem because this box right here works 
incredibly good. Now we're going to pause again just for a second and we're going to the other side of the table so I can show you what the result of this is going to look like. Okay, we've made all the plugged all the connections in. Here again, the uh, little box is behind us laying on the table. And uh, you can see it over there, but i got to move the screen around to see it. But anyway, it's laying behind. It hasn't gone anywhere. And uh, I just want to show you. Well, there, okay, there it is right there. You see the wire coming out the little converter box that we've got right here coming out of that. And it is going to, uh, it's going to this flat screen monitor. You see the yellow plug on the converter box, which goes to the... Uh, TV box that we got the yard sale <coughs> and it plugs in the back and there are your connections here again the only connections we're using is the television outside television antenna in it can be a pair of rabbit ears if you look close to stations or whatever and that's your video out of this going to the converter box which goes to this and you got your audio on left or right channel now in real time I'm going to reach down here to the outlet I'm going to cut all this on at the same time and uh, you can do it different ways about turning it on. It comes on like this. <coughs> the little box uh, sets this resolution, and I think, as my son would say, that's cool. Uh, oh, let's see, that's gonna come on, I hope. I may, have, okay, it came on, okay. It says channel master such as that. And here we go. That's channel 12 at Richmond, Virginia, coming in. And that's it. And you've got Plugger's television that only costs $21. And here my son was going to buy me an $800 name brand TV. Now he will not have to. So he can save that to tend to me in my old age. So, but anyway, we, I can see him watch TV now. And I have this up in my workroom up in the upstairs in the house. I'm a ham radio operator and so many people have benefited me over the years on how to do things. I'm trying to give back and so this is a give back to the community and I haven't seen anyone that has done this. I'm sure someone has but I just haven't seen them. I've looked on YouTube and couldn't find anyone saying how to do this but this is how it's done and I mean uh, it works remarkably well and the only caution I would caution you about is make sure that you get the correct, the correct converter box. And see it's got this box, I'm, I'm gonna turn this volume down here so whatever that is won't drown me out, I won't drown that. But this box right here is packaged for two different purposes. See that's no check, that was a check here and this is exactly what I ordered. Video and S video to VGA. And that's exactly what that little box does and that's all it does. I don't know why they've got that on that because that has nothing to, at all to do with it because computers don't involve whatsoever. It's just the uh, thing from the uh, TV box, you got the coupons, speakers, a flat screen LCD monitor or whatever kind of monitor. You can even put a tube monitor up there and it works. It doesn't matter. And, um, and, but you got to make sure you get the right box. You need to get one that goes from uh, S video or either video, well, I'm, in this case I'm just using video which is on the yellow cable, to VGA and that's a VGA monitor and that's how it works. Alright, so that says, so just watch this, this is outside antenna and keep in mind this is a Saturday morning about 12.30 and we've had some rain this morning, it's hot outside and uh, and so I'm just going to flip through the channels and just look what normally I pick up, that's channel 12 at Richmond that's channel 12 too and like they a lot of these uh, over the air channels is what we're picking up carries they have these second and third channels on them whereas my understanding is uh, the Dish Network and, and Direct TV does not have these second channels they may and if they do I apologize because I don't think they do but anyway this right here does and so you can get channels like on 12 Richmond uh, which is 12 1, that's the main cha NBC channel at Richmond. 12 2 is the second channel, which is an ME channel, and that is a classic channel. Right now, some Western on, and, uh, and they have all these old shows on there, like uh, Sanford and Son, uh, My Favorite Get Smart, and like Conan Silence and Get Smart, uh, Twilight Zone, Perry Ma oh, I love Perry Mason. And uh, if you need a good lawyer, Perry Mason would be a good one to get. So let me change the channel right here. That's channel 13 that Lynchburg usually comes in. But look at the clarity of the picture. Uh, that's a plug as television. 
and the most I've got in it is $21, $22 with no computer and outstanding picture. 